we're back with another game, and it's U University North North Dakota versus uh, Bemidji State University. Bemidji State University. <clears throat> so this is going to be a, a big one. Not many thought Bemidji State would get to this point. I think a lot of people thought North Dakota would get to this point. <clears throat> you can see a 59 to 47 of. Uh, uh, pairwise ranking here. Um, Bemidji State's got an awesome first line. Uh, obviously, North Dakota's got one of the top three finalists for uh, Hobie Baker and uh, Jordan Kawaguchi. So we'll have to see what happens here. Wait, do we <clears throat> know who's in the top three now? Yes, we do. Who, it, who are they? So it was uh, Jordan Ka Kawaguchi from North Dakota. We had, um, it was, let's see, um, <clears throat> Scott Pernovich from Minnesota Duluth, and it was uh, Jeremy Swayman from the Maine Black Bears. I thought one <clears> of them. <throat> I thought either Ryan McKay or Mark Michaelis would make it. I thought McKay had a pretty good chance, and I think I thought uh, Michaelis because he missed seven games probably was going to be out of luck. But well, we've had a little bit of shots on goal so far, uh, both sides. Bemidji State is wearing the all green, and North Dakota is wearing the green and white. Oh, big blah! Oh, big stop there by uh, Tommy. It looked like uh, Bemidji State had a good chance. He was going on the a box, though. big breakaway. <clears throat> Shane Pinto going to the box for North Dakota. So 8-10 left to go in the first. We have uh, Bemidji stays on side. And uh, didn't really do much there. Uh, Alex Arillo was trying to do something, but Ooh, nothing that. happened. Yeah, big save coming up. <clears throat> and we're offside. Still a minute 24 left in the power play for the Beavers of Bemidji State. Uh, quite familiar with them. Uh, we even saw a game up in Bemidji one time, didn't we, Ted, uh -huh. last year? I think that's the only <clears throat> guest team hockey <clears throat> ho hockey game I've been to. Yep. Might have been to like another kind of sports guest team game at where they actually play. Yeah, you went to uh, <clears throat> South. We went to Sioux Falls oh, to watch the Mavericks oh, play. Oh yeah, I remember that. I yep. remember that. We also one time watched Ferris State versus Denver at the... Uh, yeah, I remember that, too. XL, yep. I'm pretty sure Denver... <clears throat> didn't they score, like, seven goals? Because I they may have. I think I, you're right. I thought I remember them scoring <clears throat> a lot. Yeah, it was a, it was a close game. It was, like, the uh, to go to the Frozen Four. It was a close game for most of the game, and then all of a sudden, uh, Denver just kind of turned it on. It was, like, 5-4, <laughs> to four, and then all of a sudden it was 7-4 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they just, like, <clears throat> just started scoring like crazy. Yep. Now, back to the game. Yeah, back to the game. So... So far, uh, North Dakota has killed off one penalty, so uh, they're looking like they are ready for this game. Oh, Bemidji State tried to go for it. Uh, that would have been um, Charlie Combs tried to go uh, deke him a little bit and go on the uh, strong side, but it didn't quite work. <clears throat> Tommy's been looking good so far. Oh, there's another one. Uh, Charlie Combs getting in there. Ooh, offside. Offside. <clears throat> Hey, in number 18, right, that that was uh, that was that had the puck on the offside, just like the one. Pretty sure, Bemidji State's the dark green, right? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, their number 18 got uh, what had the puck when there was an offside, and then and then North Dakota's just just their number 18 had the puck when the offside was called. Yeah, that happened. Oh, Tommy was uh, on the ground there for a little bit, or in uh, this case, on the ice. Ooh, number 11 there, Weston Mashad tries to come down and do something, but uh, he was denied very much. So Bemidji State looking to get on the board here first. Coming down, Zach Driscoll's been big for him so far. Number 18 again. <clears throat> yeah. It looks like uh, for the Beavers, Brad Johnson's just having a tough time staying on side. Hard to do it sometimes when you get so anxious. All right, number 11 coming down for the Beavers. Or 12, I should say. Didn't quite get in there. That was Owen Sl Sillinger. <clears throat> Sillinger, yeah, I think Sillinger is how you'd say it. All right, now all the way down to the Bemidji end. Ooh, tried to be a little sneaky there. About two and a half minutes left in the first period. Uh, here comes Bemidji. Ooh, tried to do a little back door kind of shot there. Uh, Alex Arillo. <clears throat> 
Ethan Samoza was in there too. Oh, big save there by Driscoll. He w denied them for Twisty. Oh my, another one. Hey, oh my, oh, oh, you would have thought that was going to happen. <laughs> North Dakota just about got off the, the schneid there. Big drive by Samoza, but nothing going on. <clears throat> one minute left. Oh, on the change. Otherwise, we had a little breakaway. 16 coming down. Oh, nothing. So, uh, looked like for a second there, Aaron Miller might have a little bit of an open shot. Here he comes again. Oh, there he goes! He scores! Aaron Miller unassisted! With, With tw 20 seconds left. Wow, Bemidji State making a statement early here, getting on the board, probably going to go into the first period break with a lead. I would, not many people would have thought that. A lot of hockey left to play, though, with two periods. <clears throat> do, 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 so let's take a look at those stats. Do, do, we get a chance do, do, here. Do, 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 Currently, the other team still playing. Oh, 15 shots by Bemidji State. They did have the power play. Um, yeah, Bemidji State's been... Uh, Ruling the attack zone too. It's a little surprising. North Dakota coming out not as uh, not as I guess you'd say uh, strong in their uh, zone as you would think. Usually they're pretty big with. Oh, oh. Tommy's come up big though. I mean he gave up that one. And there's not much he could have done in that one, but he's been pretty big so far. Uh oh, another penalty coming up. Ooh, that's oh. big. If that guy would have yep. been on the other team, that would have yep. been a really good opportunity to score. That's correct. Jacob. Bernard Docker goes into the box. Okay. Uh, Matt Kirsted uh, made sure that there was nothing going to happen there with the uh, Beavers. <clears throat> oh, North Dakota looking for a little shorthanded magic here. No, denied so far. Driscoll playing big. Whoa, what the heck? How did Driscoll shoot it that hard? That's pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. boy. I, did, I didn't see that, but I could... But, but just by, yeah, I, I didn't see that, but I didn't see Driscoll shooting really hard, but, but by like when you surf, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it was a little surprising. I didn't think it was going to be anything big and all of a sudden it comes rocketing off. I wonder if maybe there was some type of weird one-timer in there we just missed or something. I have to see that in the replay. I'm sure some of you can rewind that back. Oh my goodness! One-timer from... Sillinger and Miller, Brady puts it right by there. Adam Brady gives the Beavers a 2-0 lead? Who would have thought that so far? Now North Dakota trying to get back in there. Oh, oh my. Looked like Kawaguchi is going to have a good chance there. He just couldn't get it past the goalie. Driscoll's coming up huge so far. Oh, there's an offside. Well, I wouldn't have thought North Dakota had been down by two goals at all during this game. I would have figured, if nothing else, a one-goal game. But right now, Bemidji State really uh, running the show here. They're about one goal away from really putting the sweats into North Dakota here. Oh, you got to get onside. There he is. Oh, nice job getting onside for North Dakota. But nothing going. Coast to coast. Oh. That was number three, uh, Tommy Muck, going coast to coast for the Beavers, trying to do a little razzle-dazzle, maybe spin move, but nothing there. Well, North Dakota coming back down there. He said, we're not going to be denied. Oh, why didn't he go forehand there? He he could have had it. Well, another big save by Tommy. One one-timer, though. There's nothing he could have done too much about that one or the other one where they had the open goal. 2 nothing Beavers yet. Oh, there's a nice little move by the Beavers. Oh, big slapper, but nothing going. And coming down, nothing. North Dakota hasn't really got their sorts with them there. That was uh, offside mainly just because of their uh, second period action. They're going, if it was the first or third, they would have been going the other direction. Would have been avoiding the offside. Oh, here we got a little bit of a drive. Oh my goodness, Shane Pinto denied. I thought he he almost snuck that one by Driscoll, but he's just been solid so far. You're gonna get to the. Uh, the championship game here of the Frozen Four, even in uh, Sega Hockey, you got to have some good goaltending. NHL 94. Oh, big slapper to no one in particular. Well, how's that happen? <laughs> I thought that was going in. I thought that was going to be one of those weird ones. We go, what the world just happened there? But no, uh, 
big big stop by uh, Tommy on that one. Uh, that was uh, Aaron Miller about put something together there. Uh oh, big breakaway. Oh, we gotta drive in there. Twenty two. Shane Pinto just kind of pulled up. Maybe he's thinking there's gonna be a a rebounder coming with him. And there's Kawaguchi. Nothing. Ooh. Oh goodness. It could have been a great opportunity to score right there. That yeah, sure could have been. Uh, all they had to do is be a little patient. They couldn't quite get anybody there. Another offside. <clears throat> Two nothing. With 2.24 left here in the second period. Oh, here comes the first penalty on the Beavers. Oh. And it looks like they're going to go to the box for a hooking call. Tyler Vold going in. Oh, a two of them. And Ethan and Somoza. Holy cow. Two defensemen, I believe. Going right to the uh, box on that one. Yeah, probably like right, right as the play ended. But when he when he like yeah hit him. Yep. So. Well, Beavers for somehow uh, five on three have uh, been dominating this uh, session so far. Although it's just a minute forty still left, so you know. Oh, huge check! Wow! Oh, it didn't stay on side. Uh, Weston Mashad just couldn't quite drag that skate. Minute 27 left. And uh, there we've got... Oh, a big shot again for the Beavers. Who would have thought the Beavers have been controlling this on a 5-on-3 here? The opposite way. Nothing going on so far. Oh, there we go. That's the most time I need to get back in this one. Nope. Couldn't sneak it by. But, boy, they're playing with fire there a little bit. Looks like they could have both used the line change on that one. Oh, it might just be killing off the end of it. No, nope, here we have a little bit of a drive. Oh, nobody's there to shack diesel it in. So we're going to go. They just killed both penalties there. That was huge. <clears throat> two nothing after two. 20 shots to 17, even with that uh, that uh, five on three power play. And the soothing sounds of Teddy on the mouth guitar. All right, here we go for the next one. <clears throat> Third period action. Now North Dakota is going to have to come on back here. We're going to have a game. Oh, there's a good start, but nothing going in. Holy cow. You know, that was very close. Yep, and the, Be the Beavs just couldn't stay on side. Aaron Miller got in there a little bit behind the guy in front of him. It's hard to tell because he only gets to see the numbers on the guy who's got the puck here. All right, bringing it into the zone. A big one-timer, but just didn't have any accuracy on that one. 9-12 left. Still 2-1 game. Or 2-0 game, sorry. 2-0 game. And a uh, guy got uh, laid out. <laughs> Couldn't get back onside. That's the one thing about these old uh, 94 games on onside, offside. They don't do a very good job staying onside sometimes. Nothing that would really happen in real life, but it yeah, happens in this game. All right, well, a steal here by Kawaguchi. He's going to try to get their, his team back on this one. Well, lots of little dripping, but nothing happening. Oh, my goodness, another offside. Beavers are just uh, looking like they're happy to just keep getting offside and... Let's try to do a face-off and see if we can keep killing this game. Oh, there it is. North Dakota, Mashad. Now we're at 2-1 to game with 8.04 left. So we might have ourselves a game now, ladies and gentlemen. Most likely just mainly gentlemen watching. Um, oh, looked like he could have had an icing call, but just couldn't catch up that puck. Here comes a little bit of a breakaway, though. I don't see anybody. Oh, backhand. From that far away, it doesn't seem like a good maneuver. Oh, my, that looked like that could have been it. If I he thought... Would, if he would have shot the other way, then he would have had a better chance. That's true. He just uh, made a bad choice. All right, Tommy's hanging on to it. Probably a good idea with the Beavers warming around. Still 2-1 game, 6.48 left in the third. All right, number 22... Shane Pinto coming down. Oh, my. It was a big shot, but doesn't quite get to as much of the goaltender as he wanted. Adam Brady, nothing. <clears throat> and they'll hang on to it again. 6.16 left. Time ticking away. Here we have a little bit of a breakaway. He stopped. 
Can he turn around? Can he pass it? Oh, he passes it the wrong way, away from there. Weston Mishaw just couldn't quite get the trigger going the other direction. Second time I've seen that in this in this tournament. Yep. They did a great job of staying onside there. That could have easily been a uh, offside. Ooh, big shot by the Beavers. Oh, it looked like he had a streaker, but the streaking guy just couldn't quite get that stick out. He needed the red-green special. Keep your stick on the ice there. All right, here we got 26 driving. Oh, ooh, looks like one of those yucky, ooh, slimy goals. Oh it just didn't quite God. go in. They were close again. Yep, that was Cole Smith coming down. Looked like he had a pretty good opportunity. Yeah. Oh, they killed off the uh, possible icing there. Here we have uh, Nick Cardell, or Cardelli coming down. And big blast. Uh, looks like they're just going to change him up. And looks like North Dakota's looking to change him up with 322 left. Here comes a big one for North Dakota. Oh, goes wide. Oh, my. Shane Pinto. And a big save by by the Beavers there. Driscoll. Zach Driscoll. Yep. Yep, Driscoll. Sometimes i got to think for a second because they're all green out here. <laughs> Uh-oh, penalty. Oh, North Dakota, a penalty. This late in the game, oh, they got to be kicking themselves. Matt Kirstead. Oh, no. Although, you know, it seems like the penalties haven't really been very penal so far in this game. Big blast off of uh, Driscoll. Do, 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 now, unfortunately do, for the North Dakota faithful, uh, the Fighting Hawks, because of the weird setup of this, if it's still a 2-1 game here, um, they will not be pulling the goalie even with the drive here because for some reason they won't pull them until there's two... Two goals down. And we got a minute 30 left. Oh, making a little bit uh, interesting there down by Tommy. A drive here by 14. Oh. Arturillo, now we're down to one minute remaining. North Dakota probably getting desperate here, but they got to chase around the puck. The puck's coming from all sorts of angles. Oh, big save. But, oh, my. <laughs> Tried to end it there. 25 seconds left for North Dakota. They're in full strength. Here they come. Trying to tie it. Oh, that might be it. I don't see them having a chance. The Beavers just got to stay on side. There it is. The Beavers going to the championship game. Driscoll definitely the star of the game there. Aaron Miller and Weston Mashad for North Dakota. Wow, what do you think of that game? Were you expecting that kind of result, Teddy? <laughs> maybe, maybe not, huh? Maybe. 29 shots apiece. One for three on the power play. That was a big thing there for the Beavers. They did score on that power play. And here we've got the uh, attack zone. North Dakota, although not attacking much in the first two periods, suddenly owned the attack zone at the end of the game. <laughs> so here we got the uh, the stats coming up here. Let's see how many shots did the be who had the most. Uh, Sillinger and Arillo had five shots each for the Beavers. Um, well, again, it, it was a surprising game. Two penalties. They were both at the exact same time. Driscoll, 28 out of 29. Tomey, 27 out of 29, just uh, got outdone there. Uh, he had six shots with the most any North Dakotan guy had. Well, there you go. We will see you for the next game. See ya. A Bobbin Mavic Production. I'm gonna listen to it.